Hey, hey, what is up, Credit Movement community? It's Ryan. This is episode 51 of the Daily Credit Minute. And I'm going to do a follow-up to episode 50. In episode 50, we talked about credit cards, the negative impact that you can have by closing them. And the reason it hurts you is because your average length of credit history, which takes into consideration an average of only open accounts, not closed ones, is 15% of your score. It's a huge chunk of your overall credit score. And when I read the comments, which I always do, by the way, and reading the comments after episode 50, there were some things in there that I wanted to follow up and I thought it was important. People said, quite a few people said, <clears throat> wait, how about you don't have any debt and you live the Dave Ramsey lifestyle? I've got mad respect for Dave Ramsey. But here's the problem with that. Most of the people in this community are people that are trying to manage their way out of a bad credit situation and they're not in a position to live the debt-free Dave Ramsey lifestyle. Maybe not yet. And number one, number two, if you want to get a mortgage, you guys, you have to have a credit score. And Dave Ramsey talks about not utilizing credit at all, which would mean you don't have a credit score. And it's very difficult to get a mortgage. As a matter of fact, it's impossible to get a mortgage without a credit score. So that was number one. I wanted to clear that up. Again, I respect Dave Ramsey, but that's not our audience. And the credit movement community are folks that need help and need to understand credit a little bit better. Number two. Um, people said, Ryan, my credit card has an annual fee. Should I close it? Well, if your annual fee is $95, you guys, and your credit score is going to go down 40 points by closing it, I don't think so. Because that $95 that you're going to save on your annual fee is going to be made up for and then some in what you're going to pay in additional interest by having your score go down 40 points. Let's say you go to get a mortgage. The difference between a 640 and a 680 credit score could be the difference in whether you have to pay mortgage insurance, which is a complete waste of money. Not to mention, it could be a difference in a quarter to a half of a point on interest, which just on a $100,000 loan could be $25 a month. That's $300 a year. Remember, your annual fee was only $95. $300 a year over a 30-year mortgage is 9,000 bucks. So I would argue that point I see both sides of it. I understand why you'd want to short term save the 95 bucks, but I can assure you, you're going to pay more than $95 if your score goes down by, by 40 points. So that's my rant. I love you guys. I appreciate you following. Share our posts, like our page, and keep coming back for more.